Hi, everybody. Hope you're well. Uh, today I will read from a book titled uh, Begin Again, Fail Better, Preliminary Drawings in Architecture, published by Kunstmuseum Olten and Park Books. Ever tried, ever failed, no matter. Try again, fail again, fail better. First the body, no, first the place, no, first both. Now either, now the other. Sick of the either, try the other. Sick of it, back, sick of the either. So on, somehow on, till sick of both. Throw up and go, where neither, till sick of there. Throw up and back, the body again, where none. The place again, where none. Try again, fail again, better again, or better worse, fail worse again. Still worse again, till sick for good. Throw up for good, go for good. We're neither for good, good and all. Samuel Beckett, Worth Worth Ho. Begin Again, Fail Better, Preliminary Drawings in Architecture is a title inspired by the above quote from Samuel Beckett, and the theme is based on an idea from architect, curator and researcher Manuel Montenegro. It engages with one of the principal activities of the architect in the process of design, drawing, specifically drawings made by hand. Using this simple starting point, an investigation into the act of designing is made through a focus on beginnings. Faced with a blank sheet of paper, the architect, in a state of anxiety, tries, fails, tries again, fails better, until they start to move in the direction that ultimately becomes a building, or not. Sometimes the project is a fantasy dreaming of a better world, or it is a failed competition entry. In this book, which came out of an exhibition of the same name held at the Kunstmuseum Olten during the summer of 2024, almost 200 drawings are accompanied by a series of essays and short texts exploring what failure means in architecture. Drawing is evidence on paper of the architect's first fragile idea as it comes into the world, to be transformed and improved until the final design is achieved. More than 50 contemporary Swiss architectural practices from across Switzerland, from cities, suburbs and rural valleys alike, have each contributed two drawings to the book. Taken from the earliest stages of the design process, these reveal something of their approach and understanding of architecture. These pairs of drawings juxtapose two stages of design of the same project. The first represents the start of the design process. The second is a drawing that already points more clearly to the final version of the project. Drawing is a subject that is equally important for both architecture and the visual arts, as it manifests initial spatial thoughts and structures ideas. This is one of the reasons that the project started out as an exhibition in an art museum. Drawing takes center stage because, as the lingua franca of the discipline of architecture, it is a source of inspiration and a distillation of thoughts, functioning as a repository of ideas and opening up path to self-exploration. It helps to reflect personal themes and becomes a field of experimentation for thinking about architecture. More clearly than in any other creative field, drawing interweaves two important concerns in both art and architecture, the appropriation of reality and the production of the world. Organized alphabetically in the book by practice name, this series of pairs of architectural drawings by contemporary practitioners is enhanced by the inclusion of pairs of exemplary historical drawings. These include projects from 20th century Switzerland alongside European works going back to the 16th century, sourced from important archival collections of architectural material. Drawing matter collections in Somerset, UK, the Archive de la Construcción Moderne at EPFL, Lausanne, 
the Goethe Archive at the Institute for History and Theory of Architecture, Department of Architecture ETH Zurich, and in Ticino, the Studio Vacchini Archive, the Archivio del Moderno at Accademia di Architettura Mendrisio, and the Fondazione Archivi Architetti Ticinesi. The constellation of texts which vary in length and approach provides a critical and historical framework for approaching this wealth of visual material. Longer essays engage with the conditions and importance of failure within the design process in our changing times, as well as its playful and joyful possibilities. At the beginning, an interview by Helen Thomas and Marco Bacher with Manuel Montenegro establishes the founding themes and motivations of both the exhibition and the book, as Montenegro discusses his preoccupations with and reflections on the theme of failure through research and curating. Following this, the collection of drawings is interspersed at regular intervals by eight short interludes written by authors who bring different perspectives to the question of failure in architectural design, from practitioners Stephanie Bander and Philippe Baudot, Adam Caruso, Ludovica Molo and Charles Pictet, to representatives from the archival collections Irina Davidovici, Neil Hobhaus and Matt Page. Finally, academic and theorist Pier Vittorio Aureli introduces the ending as a counterbalance to the chaos of beginning. Four longer texts develop context for the drawings. Dorothy Messner, director of Kunstmuseum Olten, explores the history of the disegno as a unifying motif in art and architecture. Helen Thomas, editor of this book, questions what failure means in architecture and defines possible conditions for it and Marco Bacher, co-curator of the exhibition, discovers the importance of play in architecture as a way of instrumentalizing failure. The last words go to Alvaro Sizza in a series of texts translated by Manuel Montenegro, which reveal how a great architect experiences failure as he works, giving hope to us all. Ask for the book at your local bookstore. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.